Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret, and today I've got a jewelry jar, two jewelry jars to share with you guys today. Uh, if you saw the thumbnail and the title, my video today is absolutely me breaking the rules, which is kind of funny because I just posted the video this morning about my rules for buying jewelry jars. And I did really just break the rules completely on buying these two. Um, so here's the story. Here, I'll show you the two. Here's the, and I'll give you the whole rundown of the story. So these are the two. You can see we've already gone through them. I promise I did not see them with anything. Awesome. You'll see. Um, but we, my sons, and my old, eldest son in particular, um, loves you know, all the jewelry jar stuff I do. He likes digging through and picking out little bits of treasure. Well, he's decided he wants to start learning more about it. And so he wanted to start learning more in particular about watches and what watches sell. And I don't know very much about it at all. And so he's like, I know mom, let's go buy a jewelry jar. He's like, I'll pay for it. I'll get the jar and then I'll see if I can make my money back on it. <sighs> so I'm just like, okay, he's 10 right so we go to the place where i know they generally have jars and they didn't have any out at the moment but they said they would make some up in the back so he was all excited so it wasn't like at that point i could say babe they're gonna bring these jars out they could be junk you know and he was just like determined he was buying the jar no matter what so i was like i tell you what i'll spring for the jar just and then it what you whatever you make you pay me back right so that's the deal we kind of made so it, 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 the rule, if you have a 10 year old, you know, the rules change with my 10 year old, the rules change anyway. So <laughs> the rules change. I ended up buying the jars. He cherry picked from them, but if you're a mom, you know, whatever, I'm excited because he's excited about learning. Right. Okay. So I'm going to get into sharing the jar and what we found in the jars and what, if anything is going to make our money back. Hello from England. Hi, everybody in the chat. I am live. And if you are, are watching this later, I would love to have you subscribe. My channel is all about finding ways to make money, save money, finding new things to learn about to help expand on your reselling business or merch business. So I would love, love to have you subscribe. Um, and while you're there, before I get started, go down there and hit the thumbs up button because if I forget to ask, I'll forget to ask. Pardon me. Hi. I do know where tape is. What? I don't know where tape is. That was a lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I'm sorry. Look on the cart. Look on. Look on the teacher cart. Okay. I got kids. Ha ha. Anyway, so if you're here, um, say hey in the chat. I love. I like to talk to people in the chat too. So hi, hi, hi. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. Okay, Patricia says I spent ninety dollars on a jewelry lot. First item I sold one hundred and four bucks. Second, two seventy seven. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just did a video this morning about the rules, and I recorded it like last week. I recorded it, and I unboxed, and I'm, I was going to edit that video to um, uh, the unboxing of that jar. Um, yeah, if you want to use that one, you can. Um, pardon me one second real quick. All right, sorry. Okay. So, and now I, I did that video and then my plan was I was editing the video of me unboxing that jar and that was going to go up later today or tomorrow. So, <laughs> thanks Kathy. So when this happened day yesterday or the day, no, it was yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, I was like, okay, fine, let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you. I spent, because the rules changed, like I said, $40 each, which is a lot. So that means I spent $80 on these two jars because my son was determined. And I was like, okay, it's going to be a learning process because I wanted him to see, fine, we'll do this. You'll see if we are not going <laughs> to, if we are not going to double check what's in the jar and you're just, we're buying them, you'll see. Okay. So first jar, here we go. Can we make the money back? Alrighty. Hey, hey. All right. So first up, there's this really kind of tribal-y necklace. I mean, it's kind of cool. Um, and, and 
maybe I'll try to sell it to recoup some of the money. I think it'll sell. I mean, hang on. It's got a hook like so. Sorry, I guess I could show you while I'm trying to hook it. So, I mean, it's in one piece. It's really not my style, but, you know, it's probably somebody's style. So this is one that either I will save to resell myself or it, it can go in a mystery lot because I do those mystery boxes. So it's a possibility that it could end up in a mystery because it's in good shape. It's a sellable piece. It's not, you know, you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, in the chat. Hi, guys. Okay, so next step, I know, right, the things we do for our kids. I, 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 the thing was, like, okay, I'm a homeschool mom. He's learning. <laughs> He's going to learn. But how come I got to take the, the, pay the bill for it? Oh, because I'm a mom. That's why. All right, so next step are these, like, these ones will actually probably sell because there are people that love, like, giraffe print, and these are kind of like giraffe print. They're a little distressed over there. That's the fancy word for kind of rubbed off. But they're, these are like giraffe print. And there are people that are really into giraffe print, which I don't think I see too, too much of. Okay. So those are, you know, sellable. What mystery? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I sell, yeah, I sell mystery boxes of jewelry in my Etsy store where you can buy, it's like 20 bucks and it comes with, it's basically a dollar a piece. You know, you get 20, between 20 and 30 items depending on the size and the stuff, you know. So, okay, there's some earrings. Let me set these up here till I find the mates. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so next step. Oh, we got bonus hair. We always get the bonus hair. Where'd it go? It was there. That's gone. Oh, there it is. Bonus hairs. So these earrings will probably go into a lot or to redonate. Lately, what I've been doing the last few days, and, and and this is kind of funny too, I've been going through like all of my, I have all this jewelry. <laughs> I have all this jewelry from somewhere. And so I'm going through and I am sorting it by like, I'm gonna keep this to sell. I This is a nice piece, but I don't think I'm gonna sell it. So I'm putting it in my box to pull from when I make mystery lots or it's in my redonate pile. So I'm going through, boom, 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 you know, making three baskets. And my third basket, that's my redonate basket. Things that are missing stones or broken watches or bits or things like that. My son, this same son, is sitting there cherry, he's like he's like dumpster diving in my redonate pile, okay? And so he's like, this is okay, this is okay. I'm gonna try to sell this mom. You know, so he's like, I was like, fine, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So that's what he's been doing. So he's got a bag full of stuff. I've got all our, we're going to have a garage sale. We have all our garage sale stuff right over here. And he's got a big like gallon sized bag full of my redonate pile that he's going to try to sell in the garage sale. And then all the watches, he's decided he's going to learn about watches. So he's pulled all the watches and parts and bits and like is learn like messing with them and everything like that. Okay. Could I tell you the prices Oh, oh, oh the, if I'm going to sell it, like, so if I decided to sell these, I haven't done any research, but I'd kind of guesstimate. So these ones I'd probably put up around 10 bucks. Um, this one, if I don't sell it, if I were to sell it, I'd probably put it up around maybe 15. It's kind of cool. And then, yeah. Okay, so there's this. Now we're not talking about merch today. It's jewelry today. <laughs> if, yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then there's this one right here. Again, just another, eh, it'll go into a redonate pile or my son will, you know, har harvest it out of the redonate pile. Okay, then we've got this broken bit of maybe little pearls. Yeah, where's the merch? Don't start with me, y'all. And then, hey, Mardi Gras beads. Woohoo! Like I said, we basically bought it before we saw it. Because they went back in the back and made this up for us. Okay, then we've got these. Um, here we go. If you go to my grandma's house, she loves giraffes. Show their oh, cool. <laughs> See this, and I know Nadine likes giraffe stuff too. All right, I'm extra. Um, yeah, and then you know I'm going to tell you uh, spoilers. There does end up being something that pays for everything. So, but of course he's claimed it. So yay. <laughs> I don't get my money back. No, I will. It's fine. Okay, so then here we go. This one is, yeah, this will go into a donate pile because broken. They're not matching. Okay, this is one that he didn't claim that I will sell. So I love selling things like this. Mixed metal, 
cuff bracelet. This one, I'm gonna do a little research on it, but I think I could easily probably put this up for 30 bucks, maybe more, because it's got some really nice detailing. Like, look at that. So this one I could probably sell for, I'm guessing 30, 40 bucks is what I'll put that at. Yeah. So there's that. I like that. I like that. That's a mine. That's a keeper. I guess I should make, I need to start making piles as I go. I know lots of people have suggested that to me. But, uh, yeah, Catherine, um, he, and I keep telling him, right, because I resell. But, I mean, and I, it took me a while for me to get to where I'm making a decent living at it, you know, with everything I do. Um, so I, I tell him, like, look, what I do is good, you know, and it, it could pay some of the bills, and it's, it's okay. And if I ramped it up, I could do better. But I'm like, Daddy is the one that really pays all the bills around. Let's just be real. So this is, you know, a good side hustle or as a kid, you know, but I don't, you know, set your sights on other stuff too. I don't know. Maybe that's just the mom and me. You need something to back fall back on, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so here we go. There's this necklace, which is all these leaves, which is cool. And it's in pretty good shape. The cords look really good. So this is one that either I would sell or I would put in one of my mystery box lots, because I think it's pretty cool. Um, and again, it's in pretty nice shape. It's not scuffed up or discolored or anything in the rope, you know, necklace parts, pretty good shape. Um, if I were to sell this, it would probably go up around that $15 mark. So this will probably go in my mystery box lot. I don't know where Jeff is. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Okay, so these earrings, again, these are funky wild, so these would, probably so. Um, so these are cross. And the thing with my mist, I have, I have cross stuff, like religious stuff, like crosses and things. I don't generally put those in my mystery boxes because just because I don't know. Cause you never know which way the wind blows with people. So someone might love it. Someone might be offended by it. So I just keep them for myself to resell. So these ones I will probably try to resell because they're pretty funky wild. Uh, like, what is that, zebra? Not zebra, but like tiger stripes with a rose, crosses. Um, I'd have to look those up, but I'm guessing I'd probably put them around 15 bucks. And if you think I'm smoking it, you can tell me, and I'll tell you back. You might be right, but I don't smoke, so you're wrong. <laughs> Welcome to the logic that is me. <laughs> okay, so one of the pieces that he saw in the jar that he was excited about was this watch. And this is a fossil watch. Ooh, it's upside down. It's got a bit of gunk on it. Um, and it's got a BP logo. And we did see, we looked it up. And th these are ones that are done for different companies. So there, were, we saw some that had like McDonald's logo. We had, saw some that had like um, football club logos, you know. So, and it is a fossil watch. So we looked it up. We didn't see one. I think we may have seen one that was a BP one. And it was like $30 or something like that. So that was pretty good. You know, and I told him, well, we'll go get the, the you know, batteries from the Dollar Tree. And you'll, we'll, I'll teach you how to, like, change the batteries out. And we've been talking about, you know, different winding ones. And I don't, because I don't know that much about watches. But he did find a watch face. Was it in here? He already took it. But it was a porcelain. It was just like the watch face. And it was, it's a porcelain face. So it was, it's older, you know. So but he was able to see, like, it had crystal movement, quartz crystal. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. Ah. anyway that's a whole other thing we get to learn about now. Apparently is why they need gems or crystals or quartz or whatever, the little stones in the back. That's what, and that's what I told him, Let's Be Happy Thrifter. I told him, look, I'm intimidated by watches. I think there are, you know, there are people that really know watches and they're great at it. Then there are a lot of people that are intimidated, like me, that don't know a ton about them. So I said, this is great for you. You know, if you want to get into watches, we'll learn together. And yeah, so this is one of the things. And what we ended up doing, because I'm a sucker and I'm a mom and I love him, is that we went through and we counted out. This was our math lesson. <laughs> we counted out each piece in the jar and we divided, you know, 40, you know, to find the average of each piece. So he would know how, how much he had to buy each piece that he wanted to sell from me and leave me with all the junk. So each piece ended up being about 75 cents from the jar. So he bought, you know, he bought this for 75 cents. Debbie says, I love selling wine. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I know who to come to now, Debbie. Woohoo. 
Hey, Nick, how's it going? Oh, and, and if you're watching now live, a few of you are. Hey, 70 people. Tonight on Bonafide Hustlers channel, my good friend Zaheer is doing the thrift battle. So let's go team Zaheer. And uh, there he's going up against Rally Roots, I think, for the, it's Rally Roots, right? Anyway, so make sure you tune in tonight for Team Zaheer. I'm sure Rally Roots are nice peoples, but I don't know them. <laughs> I mean, I've seen them on the YouTube, but I don't know. Them. Okay, so the other thing that James decided that he wanted, because I was going through the watches, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever, there's this watch. And he's like, that's kind of cool. And I was like, oh, it doesn't have any hands, and it's like, you probably have to plug, you know, get a battery, and maybe it lights up and all that. <laughs> yeah, so here for the win. Um, but then I was like, okay, I've never heard of this before. And the back says Nava Ora Unica. Okay, so Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. And I looked this watch up and he picked it before I looked it up. Okay, so he paid his 75 cents for it before I looked it up. I looked this watch up. You guys knew this watch is selling on Amazon new for $275. All right. Okay. So, um, he already bought it from me for 75 cents. So fair's fair. And maybe I'll have him. Well, and here's the deal. He's like, well, okay, I'll fix it and get it running and I'll, and I'll help him listen and everything. And he's like, okay, well, I'll list it for a hundred then, you know, it's you. So I'll list it for a hundred. I was like, babe, the new ones, I think it still has the plastic coating on it. Like, you know how there's like a plastic coating. I think this has got, it does. It has a plastic coating still over the glass. I'm not gonna pick that off, okay. Um, how the, I'm guessing when you, when you get a battery in it, there must be like a digital like hands that pop out. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We'll make a video of it too, because that's how you're gonna sell it, right? That's what I tell them. Um, so he was like, I wanna put it up for 100 bucks. I was like, babe, the new ones are up for 275. I said, put it up for 175, it's $100 off. He's like, no, 100 sounds better to me. Like, we're listing that thing for 175, okay? Because then you can pay me back, <laughs> right? And I was like, well, you put best offer on it, right? And so we're having this discussion. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, seriously, the one you pick. There's no numbers, I guess, when you light it up. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what's gonna like, you know, it'll it'll do that. Anyway, who knew, right? I need to I need to get into watches apparently. Okay, then there was another watch in here, uh, in this one, which he didn't he didn't buy this one for me. This is another fossil watch. He didn't buy this. He only gave me a buck fifty. Okay, so he bought two watches from everything, so I get the rest. No no take backs. <laughs> so here's another fossil watch. I'll I haven't looked this one up, um, but I'll look it up and see. I like it. It's got the uh, date. I like the ones that have the date. You know, I can't open it though. Anyway, but it'll be a good, um, I'm trying to read what that says down there. I'll hold it up so you can see. I can't see it on the bottom. What does it say, blue? It says blue. Okay, hello, hello. So yeah, I, those are the main things that I looked up for him. There might, and then there's one other thing I looked up too. So that watch is mine. <laughs> I'm gonna recoup my money. So there. All right, so here we've got some some earrings that are gonna go just into like the lot, you know, or my my redonate pile that he will probably end up picking them out. Same thing with these, these will go into my redonate trash pile. <laughs> Not trash pile, but it's I'm calling it that, these two, because my son has been picking out of it like it's the trash <laughs> to, to resell. These are kind of fun. So these ones, oh gosh, these are these are kind of fun. I may try to sell these ones. Just because they're fun and bright and they're like Something I would probably, if I was being goofy, want to wear like bright flowery earrings. Um, if, I mean, I don't know, you guys. Okay, maybe, hang on, the, the Alexa's going off. Let me mute this real fast so I can turn Alexa off. Where is it? Hang on. Okay, I didn't want to holler. I didn't want to holler. So these ones are maybes. I mean, they'd probably go for, you know, $7.99 or $9.99. Not a huge amount, but. If I'm looking at recouping my money, I'll take a $5 profit. Um, I was just uh, trying to find a book that would help me get started learning about jewelry for resale. Do I, I don't. I have a book about 
like vintage plastics that was sent to me, but I don't have a particular one. I've been working on a, a, doing a series of videos or I've been writing out, I haven't started on it yet, like things that, how I got started and how I recommend people get started. Okay, next up is this necklace, which is not turquoise. It is most likely, yeah, it's howlite. Let me show you how I know. So if you see on here where you can kind of see the white showing through, and then um, let's see, there's another one where I could really see it on here. So it looks like turquoise, but it's dyed howlite. Now, I just saw another piece. Here it goes. Here we go. Where you can see like the white is, is showing through there. So I can't, you know, I can't sell this as, Turquoise, but I can definitely sell it as turquoise dyed howlite, turquoise colored. Um, however, I need to be careful. I need to talk to you guys about that too, because I had a takedown on Etsy, which almost never happens. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should do it in another video or what. But anyway, maybe I'll do that. <sighs> yeah, um, yeah. So it's not real turquoise. So this is fake turquoise. They, this howlite stone is like a white stone and it dies really well. You know, you can kind of see, you know, there where it's kind of rub, you know, the white. Usually you can tell too when you look around the drill holes. I don't know. Okay, anyway. So I'll put that to the side because I'll sell that. I don't know. I don't know how much that would go for. Maybe 20 bucks, maybe. Maybe. Here's another one that I think will sell. I like it a lot. And I don't know what this stone is in here. This is a stone. It's not plastic. Um, like so. I have to do my homework and figure out what that is. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, he's back and forth. How do you spell this? Oh, Howlite? H-O-W-L-I-T-E. Howlite. Yeah. Um, so there's that. So this is one I will sell. I have to figure out what that stone is in there. I'll be coming to meet you. I, I talked to you over there, my jewelry lovers and sellers. It's cold to the touch. So if you're asking, like, how, how do you know? How do you know it's not plastic? It's when I hold it, it's cold to the touch. And I, you know, if I if I'm wrong, I've been wrong before, and I'm okay with that. But um, yeah. So there's that. I don't know on that one exactly how much. Then next up, looks like a piece of candy instead of a stone. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There's this one. It's really pretty. I love the colors. So I don't think I'll end up selling it. It will probably go in one of my mystery boxes. Um, I am looking at these little, no, they're just little beads. But anyway, I love the colors. Really, really pretty. And there was another one in here just like it. Let me pull it out while I'm at it. But it's yellow. Hang on. Like so. Yellow and gold. So those ones, oh, but see, look, I won't put that in my mystery box. See how it's got the verdigris on there? So that's going to probably go, I need to check the other one too now. Because um, I don't want to send that to somebody like that. So this is going to go in my redonate pile, as cute as it is. You know, redonate slash junk lot. That's my junk slash lot pile. Uh, do you have it too? I think you do. Okay. Yeah, you can see how it's got the green fair degree on there and I know you can clean it off and all that good stuff but ain't nobody got time for that there's this one um yeah I'm moving <laughs> segregate the vertigree yeah it's going over here in my bye bye pile hey everybody hey you guys go down there and hit the thumbs up while I'm thinking about it because I'm trying to get through both of these jars we'll see how it goes 24 thumbs up Okay, it's like a, I don't know exactly, it's like a Verdigris Destri is, uh, and I'm going to totally misspeak here, but it's kind of like, it's like when your jewelry gets sick. It's kind of like a rust sort of on it, like a, yeah, it's that stuff that turns it green, if you can see, let me find it again, my eyes, it'll turn it green, and I'm sure there's a more precise scientific explanation for what Verdigris is. Do I have a, okay, yes, of course I do. Michael, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> okay, next up we've got this really sparkly bracelet. It's cute. 
It doesn't appear to be missing any stones, but um, I'm probably not going to try to sell this. So I'm going to put this in my redonate pile that I know my son is going to take this and he's going to sell it for a quarter in the garage sale because I just know it. Um, seems like you want to get rid of a lot. You don't want to take everything with. I do. Yeah. Jewelry eczema, Maury says. Yeah, yeah. All right, so there's this, you know, just little pearly bead necklace. Then we have got long, these are either navy or black beads. Um, but these ones, again, will go in my to redonate pile or my son to take them pile. My son is running, he needs to stop. Okay, then. So I'm trying to move on. I mean, I guess I've done okay. I think, you know, it's still 40 bucks. <laughs> All right, so this one's got like a vintage clasp on it. So there, there it goes. It's got this hidden button vintage clasp. So the clasp looks like so. And then it slides in with this kind of like hidden clasp like that. Like that. All right. So and it's these red curly pearls. This one I'll probably put in my um, my mystery pile because it's got a nice vintage clasp and oh, it's got a mark too. I can't read it. Where's my loop? Where are you, my loop? Where are you? Are you hiding or are you missing? Oh my gosh. I think it's missing. What do I do now? No, there it is. I found it. Do I have a messy test? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, it says, dun, 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 dun. It says Japan. So that is a vintage, vintage one. Okay, so that's going over there. There were some hair bows, and that's not cool by me. And feathers, which is also really not cool by me. I mean, they seem to be in good shape and everything, you know, cutie pootsy and all that. But I'm gonna let my son sell those, like at the garage sale. Because let's just do that. Um, okay, next, clang, 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 clang. We have got a okay, these two are tangled together, but this one's an elephant pendant, and I might maybe not. First, I thought maybe I'll try to sell him, but he's got this, he's got this greener, you know, just something right here. So he's going to go in my redonate pile. This one I'm I'm on the fence about. I like this heart a lot. And I like the yellow a lot too. Bonus hair, right? <laughs> oh, yay, bonus hair. So yeah, as much normally I would sell this one, but because of that bit of um I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. That on its ear. I'm not going to do it. So I just don't have time to mess with it. But this one I really like. It's yellow. It's pretty. I've sold a glass heart similar to this. It was like foiled on the back. I don't know if you remember. Hello, hello. Um, so this one, what will I sell this for? I don't know. But I'm, I'm thinking 15 or more on that. Oh, there's a hang tag. Let's see. Do you belong to anybody? CG. Okay, I'm going to show you the tag. I don't, my brain either doesn't know or it's upside down. Is it CD? CL? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Um, oh, hey. Thanks for coming. Um, that heart would rock on Poshmark. I, you know, once I move, we'll see about getting onto Poshmark. <laughs> All right, we've got a dog tag. I know. And then God, and then there's a quote, scripture, yes. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for prosperity and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Whew, I need to wear that. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just wear that like a purse right over here today. Okay, so <laughs> there's this one again going in the redonate pile. I need, I need a plan. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one again, really kind of just a meh ring. So that's going in the we donate pile. More bow. And I mean, they look like they've just been made. They're, I mean, this looks like it's in good shape. No bonus hairs or anything. 
Oh, bye. <laughs> See you later, Debbie. Okay, next up. I'm trying to, I want to get through both of these. I think we can do it. Am I going too slow? I've been missing you guys. <laughs> I feel like I never talk to you anymore. Even though I'm on every day. Is that weird? I don't know. I'm just a lonely old lady poking around jewelry jars. All right, this one. Oh, it's two. That's why I'm like, what is going on with us? So we've got two necklaces here. Let me just. It seems like you never want to sell stretchy bracelets. All right, this one. I'm looking for a mark just to make sure. I'm not getting rid of something that's. These are so tangled. They're really not that bad, but I'm just going to make a big deal about it. Because. <laughs> I know, Dave, right? <laughs> but the thing is, like, some days I'm talking about other stuff. <laughs> Why do you redonate instead of doing a junk craft? Honestly, I haven't redonated anything. I'm saying I'm redonating now that I'm moving um, because I don't want to move everything. And it's fun because my son gets to poke through all the stuff I'm quote unquote redonating. So uh, maybe it's worse than I thought. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've, I've thought about that and I, I've had some junk lots that just sold and they've been up for months. So I'm just like, do I want to really haul this, you know, quote, junk up to Austin with me or just start afresh? So here's this. It's missing a stone, so it's going over here. As long as that chain isn't silver, which I doubt, because I'll save the chain. Nope. Okay, and then this one, which is really cute. Look, it's got all these little rhinestones and one big one on the top. Like so, and I don't see any mark. I mean, it looks nicely made, but I don't see any marks. Let me grab a magnet. You could put put it all in one mega craft lot. That's true. Just like a ginormous 30-pound box. Probably two of them, right? A large flat rate box of crazy jewelry mess. So this one I might try to sell because it's cute. It's not magnetic. Not that I think necessarily that it's silver. It's, I guess I can get my loop and see. Okay. Do, 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 I'm looking. There's no marks. It wasn't magnetic, so maybe like stainless steel or something else. But it's cute. Okay, I'm going to hang on to it. <laughs> I'm hanging on to it. Then next up is just like this. Meh. Oh, thanks. Hey, Ida. Uh, we've got another, I guess that's an earring somehow, like that. Again, another earring. This is going in my, see, that's kind of cool. If I can find a mate to that, I think it's in there. And then this is one that, if it wasn't messed up, like, I don't know if you can see that. It's got these, like, scratches on it, so I'm not going to try to sell it. The chain is nice. Oh, it's got a kink. I was going to say, I'll keep that chain. I wonder if I can work that kink out of there. Because that would be a cool chain to put something else on. But, hmm, I don't know. I might be able to. We'll see. If I can work this little kink out of it right there, I'll save this chain and put another, like, big pendant on it. Because it's a nice-looking chain right there. That's a nice-looking chain right there. Have you ever found white gold in a jewelry jar? How is that? I'm not that I know of. No. I found gold. Gold. All right, so here is a Betsy jo Johnson watch, which I'm sure will just, my son will go, you know, go after. It, what is that? Hang on. Oh, it's her name. Okay, so it's this part's peeling and stuff, so I'm going to let him have this for his watch education so he can pick it apart and see if it works and mess around with it. I don't know. Can you polish the scratches out? I don't, I don't think so. And if I did, it wouldn't probably be worth that much. If it was like silver or something like that, then it might be worth me doing, but yeah. So this is another one. The coating, let me find it, I just saw it. The coating was coming off, if you can kind of see. I don't know if you can hear my kids back there. They've been wrestling a lot lately. Anyway, so this is going over here. This, like I said, this one's not a great jar. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think about these. These ma oh, this matches that um, necklace over there. So this I'll put with this necklace, that very first necklace that I pulled out. 
Uh, these ones will go in the redonate pile, yep, except for that one just fell. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> You've got this little pill box. I think my son took all that. There were back ear there were earring backs in there, but he took them out. So he'll probably, you know, yank that and stick it on his little he's got a little table he's gonna have all set up. WrestleMania, what? Another bow. Giant watermelons. They used to be earrings, but now they're broken. One of them anyway. Aha! There it is. So I will try to sell these because they are funky. And they're that they they look like sorry, something's tickling my nose. They look like that um whatchamacallit? Hang on. I can hear them wrestling. I don't know if y'all can hear that. One second. Oh my gosh, Dave. Okay, so I can't think of what that's called, that it looks like, but they're they're rubbery feeling, so I can bend them and stuff. Okay, now they're here. Okay, no, wrestling, enough. Yeah, it's, it looks like that clay, right? But it's bendy. This is like real bendy, so I don't know. It feels rubbery, right? Okay. All right, so we'll put that over there. These I used in the classroom, so I don't know what they're doing here. And then we've got another. This is kind of like another dyed howlite, only this feels like plastic. Plastic to look like dyed howlite. Woohoo! Uh, there's the mate for that. Junkie earring. And that's pretty much it. Hang on. Is that a cowboy? Is that a cowboy? No. What is that? That's an in. No. Is it Peter Pan? Tell me what you think. Maybe it's a Native American? Well, we'll see. And then we've got a bow earring. Okay. So, what we're going to do, if you guys are cool, I'll show you what's in that other one. That's junky. <laughs> They've grounded for two weeks. No, I'm such a sucker for my kids, y'all. They're not horrible. That's the thing. If my kids were horrible, then sure, I'd ground them. But they're usually pretty good. So get in there. Okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty lenient. Because they usually list. listen. 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 Native. Yeah. Did I say the wrong thing? Can you lip read? Oh, <laughs> good. Did you hear me say, dudes, that's not cool. <laughs> not cool. Okay, second jar. And there is something in here, which I'll just start with. <clears throat> so this watch is a swatch. And my son did not claim it, so it's mine. And I'm going to try to sell it. So this is a specialized swatch. Look how thick it is. This is for scuba diving, for deep water diving. Um, so I need to see if I can get it working. And then I know we're going to go through these two. Um, I, gosh, I looked it up. It was, it was like 80 bucks used maybe. So that'll be cool if I can get my money back. Um, so again, here, I'll try to pick up the pace here. Plastic. These are cute, but mm, that'll go in the redonate. Um, this watch, I couldn't find another one. This is another one I'm going to try to sell. This is Seoul World, um, the World Cup Stadium from when the, the World Cup was um, in Seoul. I couldn't find another watch that was like that. So it's got all the countries on the band, like up here too. So I need to find like a World Cup nut, you know? And then I looked it up and this is like the shape of the stadium, right? And this is this, but I couldn't find another one. So, and it's Christian Jardin. I don't know if that's good or not, but. So I'm gonna look that up and try to sell it because it's unusual. All right, oh, my head is just, okay. So then this one, again, this is love, it's really cute. Um, you know, I probably would have tried to sell it if I wasn't moving. It's not, it wouldn't be worth a lot, but it's, it's cute. So I'll let my son mess with that. Another bonus bow, yay. This is funky, this is funky cool. I'll try to sell that, this like gold and like copper tone, gold tone. Is that turquoise? I guess it's more of a turquoise color. 
Anyway, so this is just an unusual cuff. So I will try to sell that. I'll probably put it around 15, 20 bucks, like so. Another bow, woohoo, somebody's having fun making bows, and then decided let's donate them. And then this is another one that's kind of funky weird. <laughs> yes, I yeah, I had a swatch growing up too. Um, so this necklace is like, it's got a mustache and it's got sunglasses. So I'm gonna put that over here for my son as well. I'm being way more picky with this jar. This is cute. So this one looks like it's kind of messed up in the center there. Yeah. So like I won't put send that to somebody in a mystery jar. So this will either go into a lot or get redonated. Uh, again, this is well. I really like cuff clamper bracelets, but this one the coating is really messed. I don't know if you can see it. You can see there like the coating is kind of messed up on it so i won't try to sell that yep <laughs> reasons we don't just blind blind buy uh fashion earrings there you go yeah how do you ship your brig bracelets do you put them in a box uh yeah the big cuff bracelets like that i use six by four by four boxes so they'll go there in that so here we go this is also Cool, but going into a lot, this as well. Bonus hair, ooh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> the things we do. I know, <laughs> don't even. Um, what did she say? Christian, do you want me to look, show you again, Dave? I can hear you, I can see you. Christian Jardin, J. A R D I N. There, there. Okay, so there's this and this. Again, both going into a lot. Um, this one, it's cool. I mean, it's got a nice glass bead on it. So this one I might send in a mystery. Like, this is the kind of thing, like, if I was going to send 20 pieces of jewelry in my mystery lot, then I would. Um, this would be like 21, like this would be like a bonus piece, you know, or 22, cause it's stretchy and I mean, it's cool, it's cute, but it's not like, ooh, super amazing. Um, and then we've got this little black roses one. Yeah, so I mean, uh, there's enough that's gonna make our money back, but man, we just lucked out, just barely. This ring is really pretty. The back of it is rubbed off. So, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, yeah. Could you show the red band watch again, please? Sure, if I can find it. Oh wait, was it in the other jar? Cause then you're out of luck. No, maybe not. Let me see, is it in there? There it is, aha. Oh, the Betsy Johnson one? Here, ta-da, like that. Is that the one you mean or is that pink? Is that red? That's pink, I don't know. That's the one I think you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, back to it. We're doing okay, this much left. And I see Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> All right, so we've got this one that would be really cute, but look how grody it is. And then the back is just like bleh. Yeah, bleh. That's the technical term. And this one, I was so disappointed because it's, I thought I was disappointed. Oh yeah, I am disappointed because it's missing stones. I was like, oh, look how fun that is, right? Sparkly, pink, how fun is that? But yeah, I do sell to my viewers. Just send me an email and we can set something up through uh, PayPal. I can send PayPal invoices. I don't know, if I could find the right pink rhinestone to go in there, this is so cool. I love it, right? Isn't it cool? Yeah. So I don't know, I don't normally, I need two. There's another one. It's missing two pink rhinestones. Oh, no maker's mark. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my craft lot. Watch my doodle over here. Okay, then we've got this stretchy one. Again, also going in my craft redonate lot, just because. Now these I save. These type necklaces, I'll straighten that, that out. And then I'll save it for when I find a big cool pendant 
to put on there. And this, oh, we come across this before, this brand. And I can never remember what it is because it's spelled really, or it's written really weird. It comes up every now and then in the group. Um, check, oh, I will, I'll check the bottom of the jar. And, and I, I, when we first, we already opened it. This isn't a surprise for me. So there we got this hashtag necklace, which is cute. It's got some sticky on it. I just, you have to get the sticky paper off. That's pretty cute. My son can try to sell that. Let me see, if, make sure I don't think it's silver in there. Nope, like that, but it's cute. Hashtag. Um, I know, and there are people that are really good about fixing stuff, and I'm just, I haven't gotten to that. I haven't done that yet. This is all broken up, which you could probably be fixed pretty easily, like so. But I'm going to put it in my re-donate or in my pile because I don't have time to do that. Then we've got another watch. This is a watch. The face is broken off. It's supposed to have like a little door covering it. But it's still a fun uh, bracelet with all the like, this is real Betsy John Johnson-esque as well. Let's see, but there's no name. No name. So again, this is going to go in my pile of harvest. Again, this too. Harvest pile. And did I just throw that back in or is that another one? I think I threw it back in there. There. <laughs> so more and more things just that I'm not going to try to sell. So I didn't, I am going to get a lot. Yeah. This too. This one's missing stones. Don't do like I do. <laughs> Your son could fix it and easily sell. Oh, yeah, he totally could. And that's the thing. Like, I, I'm fine with that. I'll put it over here. And if he wants to, like, grab something from it and, like, fix it up or try, I'm like, oh, I'm all for it. So let him do it. I would not have generally bought these jars. I mean, we really lucked out with these watches that are going to make the money back. There's a couple other pieces, but I would not have normally bought these jars. Mm -mm. Okay, so here's this bracelet also going in the pile of not selling. <laughs> and <laughs> is this so fun watching stuff like uh, this as well? Stretchy. I mean, it's cute and everything, but I'm not gonna. Um, this as well. Not gonna. I'm trying to speed it up. Mardi Gras. And another bow, bonus bow. Mardi Gras, oh my gosh. This is almost scarier than, it's almost scarier than mystery hair because you know, if these are, if these are authentic Mardi Gras beads, there's no telling where they've been. All right, if you've ever been to Mardi Gras in anywhere, in Galveston, in New Orleans, and anywhere they have Mardi Gras celebrations, you know what happens with these beads. So these could technically be more frightening. I may need to wash my hands. Nobody promised me hepatitis when I started opening jewelry jars. Nobody warned me about the, the prospects. Anyway. So next, this is what I, I think this is a bookmark, right? This has got a J, which happens to be my son's initial, and a little paw. Isn't that cute? It's cute, but yeah. Uh, do most modern-day jewelry makers put their marks? Um, If they are, like, nicer. I'm not smelling anything. No. Um, If they are, like, a nicer one. Like, if they're made in China, then no. But like um, Kendra Scott or, you know, like Chico's, Claire's, most of these other ones have their marks on them. I'm trying to think of some others. James James Avery, but that's not really, you know. A lot of them do, yeah. I mean, there's always going to be exceptions. Then here's another watch. It's missing a stone. It's got all these bits on it. But again, if he wants to really learn about it, he can he can pop that off the back and start messing around with it. <laughs> and then here's another one. This oh, we had a pink one like that, so that'll go in the pile for my son. And another watch. I can't remember this one. This one is like the other again. This one's not missing any stones, but I'm not gonna try to sell it. I don't. Eh. 
So there's that. Oh gosh. We're digging deep. Now this is pretty cute, but it is again, it's kind of rubbed. You can see where the coating is rubbed off. And it's got this on the front, and then the hinge is kind of crookedy. So it's like a little prayer box, but it it's not lined up. You have to mess with it to get it. Yeah, anyway. So mm -mm. some of those beads you can also get at Clash. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like the Mardi Gras beads? They're training them young. No kidding. <laughs> All right, missing a stone in that ring. We're getting there. Almost done. Woohoo! Missing stones. This is what you get, Margaret. You're breaking the rules. All right, we've got another watch. This one is not missing any stones either that I can see. And it's like a digital, I guess the numbers will pop up. What brand is that? That is a relic brand. But again, oh, the Mardi Gras beads. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's a little more reassuring. Um, hang on, this these were earrings that I saw that I thought I would sell when I. So these earrings, let me put this down. Have got an anchor, an eagle, and a globe. It looks like, and I feel like this is a like almost a military insignia, but I don't know what. So these ones I will try to sell. I'll figure out what they are. I'll figure them out. I will. And there's these that look like alligator, but they're or snake skin, but they're not. I don't think. I think they're just like. I hope not. I don't know. They're definitely rough to the touch. That's the Marines. Okay, okay. I'm gonna look at this a little closer. Hang on, because these these like feel not fabricy, but I bet they're fabric. I'm looking, because that would be weird, right? Just like ref snakeskin. I don't know. I can't figure them out. There's no marks on the back. Okay. They're probably fabric. Okay, okay. Hey, Dorky Thrifters is here. And then there's a coach tag. All right, that's it. We, okay, no, I don't want to touch anything. So I found some cool stuff. I will make my money back barely well the watch if I get 80 for the watch okay if I get 80 for this one then the rest of it's you know maybe I'll make 50 or 60 bucks I think on everything else maybe more maybe more and if my son gets what he thinks he'll get on those watches we we eked it out but this was definitely a, a learning experience and, I, and that's what I wanted I wanted him to see like you gotta you gotta make sure you see you got to make sure you see something in the jar that's going to make your money back. So, yeah, there's that. My favorites were the, let me grab them, the swatch, the big fancy swatch, and then this. I love this. Super awesome. All the mixed metal. It's got, like, copper, brass. Very cool. Okay. I feel like I need to wash my hands so bad. I don't even want to touch my face or anything. So I know. And y'all keep saying, girl, you need to get some baby wipes next to your, your desk. I know. And I keep forgetting. I just do. Okay. So um, go down there and hit the thumbs up. Let me know. And I now put the, the video out this morning about the rules, you know, my rules for buying jewelry jars generally. I broke them in this one. But it was, it was off in the name of education. We were educating a young fella who is wanting to learn more about stuff. But he's not going to learn if I'm taking the hit financially, right? All right, that's that's not a learning experience after all. Never mind. I'm learning here. <laughs> I'm the one that gets the, the lesson, the education in. Don't be a sucker. <laughs> Don't let your kids take you for a ride. How dare they? <sighs> okay, but he got these two watches that he's going to sell. This one and this one were the ones he chose. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, you guys, uh, thanks for hanging in there and watching this video. Go and, again, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. Here's Dirty Fingers. See you later. Bye.